I hope all of you had a fantastic Christmas and holiday weekend to relax with family and friends and loved ones and enjoy yourself. Because I sure did. I took a couple days off to take care of some things. And so we didn't have the opportunity to talk about this big transfer pickup that the Sooners just had. The hammer is coming to Oklahoma. Reggie Pearson Jr. And I want to explain why it's kind of important that we have him on top of everything else we picked up. All that coming up here in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. Thanks for tuning in to the YouTube channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We're dropping a lot of college football content here, and we would love to have you along the ride. And if you've been here for a while, hit that share button. Why? Because sharing is caring. We're growing fast, and man, I... I have a heart full of gratitude, and I'm going to talk about that another time. But I want to jump into this real quick for you all and get right to the meat and potatoes. Reggie Pearson Jr. coming to Oklahoma. Safety transfer from Texas Tech. Now, I had some conversations with some buddies about this, and they asked me, Juwan, why? Why are we adding Reggie Pearson? Why will we pick him up? And I'm going to talk about that in a moment, but I want to talk about Reggie himself first and what's important about him coming to Oklahoma down the line. And so Reggie spent time at Texas Tech. He is a former three-star recruit out of the Detroit, Michigan area, River Rogue or River Rouge. I, I'm going to say I butchered that probably, but hey, if you know the right pronunciation, let your boy know down in the comments. But 2018 class member went to Wisconsin first and then transferred to Texas Tech. And one of the things about Reggie is is that he's a hammer. Now, if you recall old school 99 to 2005 Oklahoma Sooner defenses under the leadership of at the time Brent Venables as well as uh, Mike Stoops before he left for Arizona, Oklahoma was infamous for having hammers on the defensive side. So they had those guys that would level you coming across the middle, level you in the backfield, level you out deep. If you're going to catch a fade right on them, you might not wake up from that fade because you're going to catch a fade and fall asleep on the sideline. That is what OU was infamous for, was those hard, heavy hitters. And it's not something that we really had over the last, I'd say, 10 years as much Now, we've had some hitters. We've had some strong guys in that capacity, but I'm talking about just about everybody on the defense being some hitters. That right there is the return. And that's one reason why you see a guy like Reggie Pearson joining the staff. Reggie said it himself, and I'm going to show you all some film on this man leveling not only the competition, but us as well. We'll have the film going while I'm talking. So Reggie decided that Oklahoma was the home for him. Because of Coach Brent Venables. And he said this, and I quote, Coach Venables has had numerous Jim Thorpe Award winners, and I want to be the next one. Now, he says he had four, counted for four, with him wanting to be the fifth. Wasn't able to figure that out yet. I'm still Googling. If you know some other players, because I know that we had Roy Williams back in uh, 2001, Derek Strait in 2003. Let me make sure I said that right. Yep. Roy Williams in 2001, Derek Strait in 2003 were the ones at Oklahoma that Brent Venables had as Thorpe winners. Now, at the time, Venables was the co-defensive coordinator and linebacker coach. He also had three Dick uh, Buckus Award winners as well. So because of that, these are award-winning linebackers that go to the NFL, and he had award-winning DBs go to the NFL. That Jim Thorpe Award is a big deal. It should be a big deal for Oklahoma fans because, you know, Thorpe's an Oakie. So... Besides that, Pearson wants to win that award. And his opportunity is by doing hits like he's doing in these videos. He's lever, lever, leveling folks. He's he's hammer. It's all he does is come through with the hard hits. And that's going to be huge for us as Sooner fans is having another defensive guy that can do that. So the conversation my buddies and I had, one hit me up and asked, like, hey, Jay, real talk. We're adding another safety. We just got Peyton Bowen. Huge five-star pickup. We picked up Dave McCullough as a flip from Cincinnati. And then you got the rest of the roster. What is it about? And then Kendall Dolby just came over from JUCO. What is it about Pearson that's going to help when you got all of this depth? Are we going to lose people to the transfer portal? And I reminded him, no, that's not going to be the thing. Pearson's a senior. 
So he's going to come in there with that veteran presence. He's going to come in there with the mindset of not only winning a, a Thorpe award, but also with the mindset of mentoring these younger safeties coming in. He's going to be there to help them grow as players, defensive backs in general. With Reggie's size, he can be that next Derek Strait. He can play corner. He can also play safety, but he likes to hit. He's a hard hitter, as you've seen in those videos. And so him being there will do nothing but help enhance because he brings a veteran presence and experience at the collegiate level. He showed it at Wisconsin. He showed it at Texas Tech. So coming here is nothing but a big plus for Sooner fans to have that type of player in town. Outside of that portion of it, he's going to play a lot. I can see Reggie coming in there and getting a lot of game time. So he's going to do nothing but add additional playing depth at the safety position, as well as potentially the nickel. He can move up and down. He's got that ability. As you see with his awareness in those videos of him just in games against Oklahoma and Mississippi State, etc., he knows how to get down there and lay the hammer on a guy coming across. Running backs, he's not afraid to hit. One complaint you Sooner fans always had over the years was the ability to hit and make some tackles. This man is there for it. So, Adding Reggie Pearson to me was big, and it's the reason why I'm making this video four days after he committed, because the significance of having a veteran presence at the safety position that loves to hit like this is just an example of the changes that Coach Brent Venables is bringing in. Other guys on the defensive side can hit, but this dude is a hammer, and I'm going to keep repeating that. He's going to continue to bring that in. And then you're going to see more players like him from Coach Venable's recruits and his staff's recruits. Coach Brandon Hall, Jay Valai, they're all, all those coaches are going to bring in these type of hitters, and you're going to have a great appreciation for it in the long term. So thank you all for tuning in to the channel. If you're new and you made it this far, Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We would love to have you in the community. And for those that's been here for a while, share because sharing is is caring. I've got a ton of videos coming over the next couple of days. I plan on taking some time off, but I said, you know what? It's a great opportunity for them to drop some stuff. I'll probably have two, three more coming today. I'm working on a preview with a Florida State YouTuber for later tonight. So we may go live. If I if we do decide to go live, you will see me post the chat. I will post the link so y'all can pull up and chop it up about Florida State versus Oklahoma at the Cheez It Bowl. Because I will be there. If you're going to be there, hop in the comments, let your boy know. I would love to connect, shake your hand, and thank you for the support. As well as just, you know, hang out out there. I'm going to go to a couple tailgates and stuff. So with that, chop it up with your boy. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.